Hey YouTube, this is here and let me just show you my latest toy. So two years ago I made this GPC module which is uh, a uh, cement truck uh, based on a MAN TGS 8x4. Actually 8x2 because it only had two wheel drive but it wasn't really that much fun to play with. So yesterday I finished this. It's uh, the exact same truck, MAN TGS. 8x4, this time with four wheel drive, and it works like this. So let's just stop it for a while. As you can see, I can make the barrel continue even though the truck is stopped by uh, giving it a slight nudge like this. And similarly the other way. Like this. And when it drives that way, it keeps the balls inside. But when I go backward first, it will dispense them. Like this. Now you can use other kinds of uh, ammunition, like uh, minificats, like having this bag. I also have a bag of 1x1 uh, round bricks and 1x1 round plates. So when it gets empty, we can see that should do it. Let's just turn it off. Let's see how it works with those other kinds. So. In the back we have this little contraption which can be turned. Let's just have it like uh, oh, we can uh, even extend it a bit. These lie in the sides. I have an extender on both sides so I can extend it like this. Let's see what happens. And that should do it. So first I want to put it in uh, the forward mode so it can uh, pick up stuff and I fill it by um, adding the pass through the funnel near the top. Let's just, oops, like this and let's see if it works. And there they go. And the last one, does it come out as well? Yeah, there we go. Let's try with the uh, one by one bricks. And put it in unload mode. And finally, let's see how it works with uh, the really small parts. Loading it is the hardest part, so... Let's see if anything gets out. Just start to lift. Oops, right about now. There we go. And slowly everything will come out again. So let's just stop it for now. So, as you can see, I only have two channels. So there's only one receiver right here which means that I'm using one channel for steering and one channel for driving. 
Oops. <laughs> That's chaos. Okay. So how do I make this part work? Well, let's take a look underneath the belly. And it looks like this. So we have the two differentials making uh, this a four-wheel drive. We have an L motor here, which uh, drives the rear wheels, and we've got a switch. So if I turn it on, this switch will turn with the motor, so when torque is put on the motor because it's driving the wheels, it will activate the barrel using the switch like this. Oh, but of course it will kill itself when lying down like that. In the front we have the steering mechanism, which is a servo motor, so it returns to center, and it simply just lift arms pulling these other lift arms so that the machine steers. And everywhere else I've tried to make this construction as sturdy as possible, so that you can actually play around with it. Oops. So you can pull it here from the rear bumper while if you try to do that in the old truck, it would just come off and yeah. Everywhere I've tried to improve the design of the old truck and I think it's succeeded pretty well. I even uh, bought this 7 Legoland. Um, for business cards, just to build these three letters here in the front. Some expensive letters, but I think it was worth it. It looks much better than uh, the old front I had on uh, the old blue truck. So, there you have it. I even added lights on the front, just like the old one had. And if you would like building instructions for this new sturdy cement truck then please tell me in uh, the comments below because i don't know how many people are actually interested in having building instructions and it's quite a lot of work to make them but if there's a great deal of interest for it then of course i will see if i can get the time to help you guys make your own and um, i try to use as few possible bricks as possible to actually build the truck so there's no unnecessary detail. Everything is just simple and relatively sturdy. Unlike the old truck which is really heavy and and detailed. But if you look at them like this then you can hardly tell that the red model is actually built with a sturdiness in mind while the Red or the blue one was uh, primarily a display model. So there you have it, and uh, happy new year!